I'll make a prediction now, though. Since I'm doing the YouTube thing now, I'll make a prediction. The 5080 is not going to be faster than the 5090 or the 4090. It's just not going to be. It'll be close, though, but it won't be as fast. The 5090 will sell out no later than day two. The 5080 will also sell out within the first week. If you have a 4090, don't, unless you need to sell it to get the money to buy a 5090, don't sell it. NVIDIA really is getting sketchy as of late, right? They already did the 57 is in a 4090. <laughs> first heard it it was like a it was like a, a shot of crack into your veins right you get an instant high like oh my god and then you hear the truth and then it's like okay sketchy marketing well they've gotten even more sketchy it's been confirmed that on january 24th the review embargo for the 5090 will be lifted for reviewers to drop their reviews so if you're planning on buying a 5090 you get about a week advance to see the performance of it that's good, although if you're in that class, you probably already know. It's going to be about 20 to 30% more. Cost is $2,000. You got it. Go get it. The 5080, however, which was supposed to be uh, lifted as well, they pushed back until the launch date. So you won't be able to get a review on the 5080 until the day it launches. Now, to me... I own a NVIDIA graphics card. I plan on buying a 5090. Yes, that's still sketchy, though. That is, I would I would even venture to say unacceptable. Obviously, there's no laws against it, but that's wrong. Giving people literally no time to decide. And I, I, I say no time because on launch day, they're going to sell out. If regular people don't buy them, the scalpers are going to buy them and then try to resell them. So that could end up biting the scalpers in the ass if the reviews say it's trash. But if the if a person goes into, let's say, Micro Center and they haven't had time to watch any type of review on it, and they're just gambling basically on a 5080. I don't I don't feel like that's a fair shake when you have the actual ability to give them that time, to give them that grace. Yes, you don't owe us anything, NVIDIA. I'm not one of these uh comment section bros that thinks that you know companies are our best friends and they owe us everything but it would be nice right and if you stood behind your product why wouldn't you and that's what i'm thinking so to me the only reason to lift the embargo so late in the process is if you're trying to mask the fact that the 5080 is really not that much of an upgrade over the 4080 or the 4080 super for that matter because that wasn't an upgrade over the 4080 just a price cut I don't like that. Now, one of the reasons why I'm getting the 50 and 90 is because I bought the 4080 Super and I kind of always had this feeling of, I wish I just bought the best one, All right? So this time I'm not gonna make that mistake. I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet. Got a little extra money thanks to some luck I struck a couple months ago. So we'll make that happen. I'll be doing some content. Stick around, because I'm gonna do a build video and give away this PC in the process, but that's for a later date. Now, like I said, that's sketchy. I don't like it. I also don't like uh, some of the uh, tech community right now when they're giving these little opinions on price to performance and this is compared to that. They're doing what I wouldn't consider to be a fair comparison, right? So I think it should be a one-to-one -one comparison to the previous gen, not the refresh. So the 5070, in my opinion, should not be compared to the 4070 Super. It's not fair. That is a mid-generation refresh 
between those two generations. So the, of course the gap is gonna be smaller. And when you think about an actual user's upgrade process outside of me who struck some money luck, outside of people who do you know content creation or like pro gamers or tech tubers, outside of those people, just the average consumer, right? They're not going to be upgrading from a 4070 Super to a 5070. They're just not. I, the vast majority of average consumers are not going to do that. So why why give that like as your like way to like, oh, look, they're only giving you a 5% increase. Who cares? That's not going to happen. It's more likely that a person from the 30 series is going to be upgrading to the 50 series, right? Outside, again, outside of the, the comment section bros and the tech tubers and the content creators, just your average gamers are going to be going typically skipping a generation when they jump now that's at the the lower end right i think the 5070 ti is going to be the sweet spot if you start to look and compare the numbers between the 5070 ti and the 4070 ti even though that's just one generation it seems to be like the the nice gap that's going to be in people's also like budget right obviously if you want to go for the gold grab the 5090 if you can afford it but if you're trying to stay under you know that thousand dollar range i don't think the 5080 is going to be it i mean the numbers typically don't lie and if you go deep into those numbers uh and plenty of people put up charts plenty of people have done comparisons again i don't think it's fair to compare it when you're talking about the 5070 to the 4070 super because the 4070 super was actually an increase in performance over the 4070 but the 4080 super was not an increase in performance over the 4080 so that's a fair comparison if you say the 5080 compared to the 4080 super the only difference between the 48 and the 4080 super was a price cut if you go back and look it was a price cut it, everything else was within, within the margin of error so that's a fair comparison I don't think it's fair to compare the 5070 Ti to the 4070 Ti Super, right? Because that was an actual increase between the 4070 Ti Super and the 4070 Ti. It got more VRAM and just more speed, right? So you compare the 5070 Ti to the 4070 Ti, compare the 5070 to the 4070. And then once you get to the 80, that's a fair comparison whether you go super or not the 90 obviously those two cars are going to be in a class of their own i think i think the 80 is going to be a a bigger letdown than what we're thinking right this is just my prediction i made a lot of predictions in the comment section myself i'm a comment section bro as much as i talk about them but i also try to like take my feelings and my bias out of my comments and just use historical precedent obviously you know historical facts and just logic based off of where the market is currently and where it looks like it's gonna go right so a lot of people and like i said in my last video we're talking about the 5080 price you'd be in fifteen hundred dollars i knew it was not gonna be i'll make a prediction now though since i'm doing the youtube thing now i'll make a prediction the 5080 is not gonna be faster than the 5090 or the 4090 it's just not gonna be um It'll be close though, but it won't be as fast. The 5090 will sell out no later than day two. The 5080 will also sell out within the first week. If you have a 4090, don't, unless you need to sell it to get the money to buy a 5090, don't sell it, right? And even if you plan on getting a 5090, if you can afford to just buy the 5090 without selling the 4090 and then sell it a couple maybe a week or two afterwards do that because i i can almost guarantee that after the 5090 sells out which is going to be very fast and the 40 the 5080 sells out which will be not as fast but still pretty fast the 4090 price i mean even right now like the 4090 price is going to go back up right because people are going to see the reviews and be like oh wow okay the 5090 is here the 50 is 80 is here the 4090 is still going to fit in between those two and so its value is not going to drop it's going to go up because the 5090 is going to be sold for 3000 by scalpers you're not going to be able to get one unless you're like me or like some people that get sent them and you live very close to a micro center right? i live very close to a micro center i've already put the money away to get this and i've already taken the time off of work so i'm going to camp for mine but unless you have those benefits or you're you know a bigger content creator that has some clout 
you probably ain't gonna be able to get one bro so it's gonna be three grand very shortly after launch day that's just what it is i know it sucks but that's just what it is the 5080 the price of that bad boy is gonna go up if you watch the 4080 super after they initially sold out prices went up to like sixteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars for a thousand dollar graphics card so the 4090 is not gonna lose its value it's just not it's actually gonna go up they were selling for somewhere around twenty five hundred dollars just just a month ago so don't expect it to to lose its value now i've spoken a little bit about the comment section bros i'm gonna speak a little bit more you guys can get away from this if you don't like it or get triggered whatever it is but i think a lot of people don't live in reality when they get into the comment sections and it's very evident but like they just say the craziest stuff like i should be able to get a 5090 for 600 dollars like bro nvidia is not your friend they're not my friend they don't care about your best interest no matter how much you want them to they don't care they keep making money look at the look at the 4060 for example every reviewer shit on the 4060 it's terrible don't buy it not enough vram right this is this is universal across youtube reddit everything else everybody in the comment section yeah fuck the 4060 we need more vram guess what guys it still sold like hotcakes it still sold like hotcakes even with all the backlash the back now the 4080 that's a little bit different because when you think about these things you have to think about there's a finite amount of buyers right there's less of those at the 4080 tier than there is at the 4060 tier more people can afford the 4060 so they're just gonna ignore the noise and just buy it the 4080 you had to do a little bit more research before you bought it because you're spending 1200 plus dollars you might go into the youtube comments and get convinced by the the comment section bros it's not worth 1200 dollars, which it wasn't and you can force nvidia to drive the prices down their next go around but the 4080s i mean 200 dollars chopping they're back to selling out and they're selling for 1500 dollars on the resale so it's like did it really go down i just think people in the comment section they can make it seem like that's the public consensus when it's really not they're just the loudest in the room but the average consumer the average guy the the, the vast majority of people don't hold those same opinions right people try to the shit on dlss when it first came out it's trash now you're all using it you're all using it and when i say you're all using it don't say well i'm not using it. i use fsr i use it what i mean by that is upscaling as a thing was kind of you, you know poo pooed it was we need raster performance this fake shit is not gonna it's not gonna work everybody's using it now some form of F upscaling you're all using it i use it we all use it why would you not especially when it's gotten so good to where for most of us now i'm not talking about you freaking 500 fps 600 hertz esports bros that are like you know two inches away from your monitor i'm not talking about y'all for the regular people for the average people for the vast majority of people it's become less and less discernible the difference between upscaling and native res resolution and you reduce your latency you get more fps why would you not some people just think upscaling or dlss is synonymous with fake frames it's not the same thing it's not fake frames unless you're willing to go on a ledge and say all frames are frames are fake if that's where you're going okay frame generation is not the same thing as dlss as a whole right it, this is upscaling this is frame generation together you can call them the dlss package but there's two separate parts you don't have to use one to use the other right i do think however nvidia who doesn't care about gamers right if you watch my one of my recent skits i think it low-key went undervalued because i was dropping some nuggets in there like nvidia doesn't really care about gamers guys they care about money every corporation cares about money right how can we make the most money you might say well if you, if you don't care about gamers how are you gonna make money ai hollywood data centers mining anything else right like they don't make 
all, most of their money from gamers. So why would they cater to the smallest portion of their revenue? It just doesn't make logical sense. You have to take your feelings out of this shit and just look at it from a practical standpoint and then accept the truth. Does it suck that we got to pay $2,000 for a 5090? Yes. If you're like me and you make average money, sure, we could say it sucks. Or you could say, thank you, NVIDIA, for selling it to me at all. Because you could sell it for $3,000 and it would still sell out. And that would price me out of it. You could sell it for $4,000 and it would still sell out. Right? Or you could just not sell a high-end die at all to, to gamers and save all that shit for the data centers, save all that for the, the government who'll pay you ten and twenty thousand dollars happily, right? They'll say thank you, NVIDIA, for selling it for us without you know any grudge. They could do that too. So it's like, man, you gotta take your feelings out of it and just see the forest for the trees, right? And just know where it's at, accept reality, and move accordingly, right? If you're just standing on the sidelines complaining, all right, I guess. But I'm about to get this 5090. I'm going to camp at Micro Center's line. If you guys want to check out the content, I'll probably go live from the line. I'll, I'll definitely have some videos uploaded about that. Day one, I'm doing my brand new build with the 5090. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the 9950X. I wanted to wait for the 9950X 3D, but AMD, you're, you're launching it in March for some reason. I'm not waiting until March. So I think I'll go 9950X and then... We're going to give this away, right? So you got to be subscribed. Stay tuned. And until next time, as always, one love.